Ted DiBiase, so big, so agile, is one reason why he has got to be a big favorite in the tournament. He's a big favorite with Eastern Wrestling fans, and Steve Dockett and Ted DiBiase has done a high 10, and the Blade Runners are running up against a team that's trying to put a stop to them. They, they rampage through all opposition. And very easily, I might add, and it really seems that they're getting very, very frustrated, Pete, in this tag team matchup because the Blade Runners are an awesome force. And now Sting has said, well, you try it a while. Here comes Rock, and he is going against a uh, human Rock and Dr. Destine Williams. I don't think on any wrestling program in the country you'll find two better conditioned athletes than you see right in the ring right now, Rock and Dr. Destine Williams. A lot of power, also power in that now. Rock, mighty powerful, is, and proud of that power that he possesses. Steve, Dr. Williams. Dr. Death is one of those unique strong men who has uh, been able to incorporate it into his wrestling attack. He's very quick. He's got the coordination. He's got that strength. He's got all the potential as Dr. Death has got to be another big favorite to take it all in the tournament. I tell you, Dr. Death reminds me of the president of the UWF, Cowboy Bill Watts, who, in my opinion, was the toughest wrestler ever to step in the squared circle holding the North American title for nine years. Uh, that's quite a feat in itself. But Dr. Death reminds me so much of Bill Watts, Bill's early career. I've seen film of him. Dr. Death is a phenomenal athlete. And you watch a football block is, and that's one reason why he was an All-American in the University of Oklahoma. And one reason that the Blade Runners are going up against one of the top tag teams in the country. Steve Williams said the EBIC has to be one of the best tag team combinations in the wrestling world anywhere on the globe. Anywhere in the country, you can ask anybody, you can look at any magazine, any television program, and the commentators, the analysts will tell you that DiBiase and Williams are a good tag team combination is in, in the wrestling world today. I think we're seeing that right here. It's great to see them back here in action. Of course, next week they're going to be in single competition. But whether it be in tags or in single competition, Williams and DiBiase are both premier athletes of pro wrestling today. I can't wait Friday night to see DiBiase and this big muscle man rock, locked up, because it's going to be the, the matchup of contrasting styles, whereas you've got Williams and, the, and Rock are very similar in style. They both use a lot of power, a lot of, a lot of strength moves to wear their opponents down. Your referee for this match is Carl Fergie. And right now we've got Dr. Death slapping that side headlock on. Dr. Death holding on, because when you hold on to someone as big and strong as Rock, you don't want to let him go. Shoulder block again. Dr. Death knows how to use every single pound of his huge body and how to send down his opponents. Knock them down. I'll tell you what, Pete, I've been officiating football in high school and college level for 15 years now. And I refereed the spring game at Oklahoma University a couple of years. I've never seen a straight ahead blocker any more awesome than Steve Williams on any level of football. Uh, he was a phenomenal run block, because oh, you ran the wishbone. He was as good a straight ahead block as I've ever seen. Oh! And Steve, here's the, Eddie Gilbert getting involved in this situation, and now they've turned the table on Dr. Death, because Steve really buried the knee in the kidney area of Williams. Well, that's one of the reasons why the Blade Runners are so dangerous, because you've got to know they contend with their power, and their deck style. You've got Eddie Hot Stuff Gilbert outside the ring, as pointed out, Hot Stuff Gilbert's move, his maneuver, is what's turned the tide of this match. It was all Dr. Death and Ted DiBiase up until Hot Stuff Gilbert interfered. Well, the thing about it, too, Pete, is that without a doubt, Gilbert is the brains behind this team. I understand he will be at ringside for both of his men's matches Friday night. What I'd like to know and what I'm looking forward to finding out is will the other Blade Runner be at ringside? Because if the Blade Runner and Gilbert are at ringside during the tournament, then Ted DiBiase and Kamala, for that matter, will both have something else to concern themselves with. I don't know if Kamala can think that way, but it's something to consider. So Rock now, reverse headlock. And this is a tight hold. It's a punishing hold, but somebody with the awesome strength of Rock could squeeze right into uh, 
a victory. Called them a submit. I also had another thought, Pete, that when Kamala wrestles Sting in the tournament next Friday night, you'll have General Skandar Akbar on the floor in one corner and Hot Step Eddie Gilbert on the floor in the other corner. We've seen them both on our television program and in informal negotiation. I wonder how that's going to be. Uh, you know, $100,000 has a way of changing a lot of allegiances. That's going to be an interesting situation with, with Gilbert and Akbar both at ringside. Well, that's one of the unique aspects of a tournament, a one-night single elimination tournament, is not only the tremendous pairings that you have in super main events, but you can also let your imagination go wild because that's usually what happens in a tournament. Anything can bust loose and usually does when there's $100,000 on the line. Dr. Death now thrown into that turnbuckle by the strength of both Blade Runners as they're doing their best to try to reestablish the fact that they feel they are the best team in the country today. Sting setting up a high in the air. Comes down that guillotine elbow. Aims with that fist right on the bridge of the nose of Dr. Death. We've got Sting on top. We've got two, but no three. As Dr. Death again displays that ability to take a lot of punishment as well as give it out. Both men collided head on. Uh, it's quite a collision. Quite a collision there. Williams has got to get the tag. Doc's in great condition, but the Blade Runners have been tagging in and out very quickly, and they have kept the match in their part of the ring. Dr. Death, and no disrespect is meant, I'll guarantee you, because I respect the man immensely, but he needs to make the tag and get DiBiase the fresh man in the ring. Now the fans thought they clapped, and they thought they chant, oh you, oh you, oh you. That's got to be a first here in Houston, I Texas. I can't believe that one. I, I've been here many times, sat here at ringside and deep in the heart of Texas. Uh, Daryl Royal and Freddie Akers, I'm sure, would run right back to Austin if they were here tonight. But I think the, what Houston Wrestling fans are showing is that, that they want to give their support to Dr. Death. They respect his ability at the University of Oklahoma. And many times, that's the best respect you can earn is when, for four years, Team Dr. Williams was a menace to the University of Texas, but now he's a big favorite of Texas wrestling fans. That time, Dr. Death was trying to send Sting five rolls deep at ringside. If he that charging Oklahoma Stampede, and we got Rock on top, we got two, but no three. Ten minutes are gone by in this match. Good, solid match between four top conditioned athletes. And as Rock misses, Dr. Death trying to take this opportunity to tag Ted DiBiase. The tag is made and in comes DiBiase. And DiBiase knows exactly what it, once he gets inside that ring. DiBiase can literally explode. And that's what he's doing right now. First he sends Sting to the mat. Then he slugs the Rock. And as they're setting them up, Dr. Death and Ted DiBiase unleash their exciting attack. And we've got everything busting loose as Carl Fergie trying his best to regain some kind of control. DiBiase with a good switch. High in the end, hot stuff Gilbert now. Drop kick, but DiBiase run him over. We got three and we got Ted DiBiase. Ted DiBiase. Once again, shows that ring savvy that's so important. He's 